Hi, my name is Matt McCauley. I'm a worship leader and songwriter, and I'm based in Chorleywood. As he finished saying this, a local official appeared, bowed politely, and said, My daughter has just died. If you come and touch her, she will live. Jesus got up and went with him, his disciples following along. Just then, a woman who had hemorrhaged for 12 years slipped in from behind and lightly touched his robe. She was thinking to herself, if I can just put one finger on his robe, I'll get well. Jesus turned and caught her at it. Then he reassured her, courage daughter, you took the risk of faith and now you're well. The woman was well from then on. By now they had arrived at the house of the hometown official and pushed their way through all the gossips, looking for a story and the neighbours bringing in their casseroles. Jesus was abrupt. Clear out, this girl isn't dead, she's sleeping. They told him he didn't know what he was talking about. But when Jesus had gotten rid of the crowd, he went in, took the girl's hand, pulled her to her feet, alive. The news was soon out and travelled throughout the region. Now Jesus responded to what he saw. When he saw the father leading him, he followed. When he saw people's needs, he responded. He rarely did the same thing twice. He avoided the comfort of routine and often challenged mindsets. Now leading worship can be so easily about uh, routine and settling into things that have served us well in the past. Preparation, practice and good planning are really important. They're the building blocks, the foundations for leading spontaneously. You can reach a place of greater freedom in your leading by preparing well. You just need to be okay with letting go of your plans and going through the initial phase of feeling a little uncomfortable. So how do we begin to step out in this a bit more? First of all, don't be afraid to wait, to pause, to take a moment to ask God what he's doing. If you don't sense anything, then it's perfectly okay to carry on as planned. But remember, it's so easy to create another routine of always being spontaneous, which of course defeats the purpose. It might sound like an oxymoron, but you can practice being spontaneous. It doesn't mean you have to rehearse the spontaneous parts, but in your own times of worship, or as you practice together as a band, you can practice going off piste. Something that I've found is that you're always freer to explore when you don't have sheets of music in front of you. I'd really encourage you to take the bold step of learning to lead without music. It takes time to develop, but it provides a real place for freedom and encourages spontaneity. Another really important thing to remember is that spontaneity should be inclusive. Keep your ideas simple, keep them repetitive. Come up with a clear melody that people can get hold of. It's no fun for people wanting to respond if they are just onlookers to the worship team having their own time of worship. It should bring people together and engage people in a response. Unity is a great tool to keep all this in check. It's so important we involve the rest of the team leading the service and those who are in authority. We need to be on the same page, going in the same direction and working it all out together. If this isn't something you've done before at your church, Make sure you run it past your pastor, vicar or minister and explain to them how you see it working. At the end of the day, just like Jesus showed us, it's all about responding to whatever you see God doing. Allow yourself to be inspired by people as they worship around you. There's usually a sudden spark, something that ignites inside of you, a moment, a revelation. It's like a light has been turned on and it's often the key that releases another deeper moment of people responding in worship. It represents the new song that the Bible instructs us to sing. It echoes the spontaneous response of God's people all the way through the ages as he reaches down and is found in the midst of their lives, rescuing and providing. It might never be sung again, but there's something special that for a moment has people so caught up in God that it really doesn't matter. Thank you.